this quick lesson, we are going to learn how to create a scatter plot in Manum. We will create an animated version as well as a non-animated version. Let's start with the latter first. The non-animated version is going to output this, and I will walk through this code. We have this beautiful scatter plot, and we are using the axes class in Manum to create it. So let me walk through what that looks like. So first up, we are going to bring in this data stored here on GitHub. So we have two columns of data, and I am just going to bring this in using uh, pandas. So I'm gonna import pandas, import all my Manum objects. I'm gonna use this, this OS library uh, to run the command line later. But I'm going to pull this data directly from GitHub, read it as a CSV, and then we'll come back to using it later. I'm going to add the axes first. So this is going to create an X and Y axes from where the X axis is gonna be from zero through 100. And it's going to have tick marks and in increments of five. The Y axis is gonna have a range of negative 20 to 200 with tick increments of 10. I'm going to add that axis to my, to my, to my Manum scene which by the way, that's what this, this whole class is extending. It's extending the scene class. And I put everything that is initialized, all of the work in the construct function, which overrides that method in the scene. And then I'm going to iterate each of the dots. So I'm gonna iterate each of those dots in the data frame. I'm going to access them as, as values in a NumPy array. And I will call the axis C to P, so that's the coordinate to point. This will convert the a given point that exists on that coordinate system to a point on the entire screen. So it's a very handy method to, to, easily, to easily convert a point relative to the axes to the point relative to the screen, and then we can add it accordingly. So the first argument for the dot is going to be the location that we want the dot to be, which we will get from that conversion of X and Y, and I'm going to make this dot blue, and then I will add the dot. Finally, I'm going to execute that scene uh, by calling this command line argument, taking the, making it high quality. I'm gonna suppress some warnings, disable the caching, and I'm gonna outplot into the scatterplotscene.png, use this given file, which I called scratchpad.py, and this is gonna be the scatterplot scene. So let's run this. And there we go. We now have the scene. Now, I want to animate this a little bit. What does that look like? Now, there's a lot of different animations I could use to initialize this scatter plot. But what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, call self.play and take the axes, pass it to the right animation. Then I'm going to pause for one second by calling self.wait. You could put an argument to wait for more than one second if you want. And then we are going to create all of the dots by iterating all the values, put them in a list, and then we're going to call lagged start. This will create a nice pleasant effect where the dots don't come in all at once, but they will kind of fall in one at a time with a lag ratio of 0.05. So you can choose this lag ratio and increase it to, to take a longer time to initialize the dots in between each one. And I'm going to use the args functionality in Python to unpack this list of right of right animations for each dot um, by iterating all the dots. And then I will wait for one more second. So when I run this, let's see what happens. Oh, and one thing I have to do as well is I have to change this over to an MP4 uh, rather than a PNG right here. And we are pulling in the scatterplot animated scene now. All right, so let's take a look and see uh, how this came out. So you can see it created that axis very nicely. And because of that lag ratio, because of that lag start, it's actually rolling in the dots um, rather than initializing them all at once.